But meanwhile, on the opposite coast over in Delaware, Joe Biden was in a wheat field hanging out, giving a talk, and he was blaming the president for the wildfires. You can imagine that. Here's, here's him talking about it, rule three. How many suburbs will be burned in wildfires? How many suburban neighborhoods will have been flooded out? How many suburbs will have been blown away in superstorms? If you give a climate arsonist four more years in the White House, why would anyone be surprised if we have more America blaze? Climate arsonists coming up with new terms here. There are arsonists out there, by the way. There's been a couple people caught. One, uh, one just recently here for throwing Molotov cocktails for starting fires. But climate arsonists, that's a whole new thing. That's a whole new thing. Biden, Biden spent much of, of his, his speech yesterday focusing on climate change and how it's so real and near and dear to him and how it's, we're destroying the planet and how President Trump is responsible for it. He's, he's responsible for everything. Just ask him. Poor dinosaurs, Trump's fault. World War II, Trump's fault. You name it. Worst things that have ever happened in the world, in the history, well before Trump was even alive, his fault. So he blamed him for everything. He didn't blame the gender reveal party, by the way, that, that did, in fact, start the fire. He didn't blame the arsonists that have helped carry on and start additional fires. They've all you know, kind of merged together and, and become just a, a, a literal disaster out there. It's awful what's happening. But it has nothing to do with President Trump, folks. Nothing to do with President Trump whatsoever. And Joe Biden knows that. It's lazy. It's reckless. It's reckless for someone who is running for the president of the United States. As, as much of a failure as you've been over your 47 years, Joe, it's reckless to go out and blatantly lie and try and coax people into thinking that your opponent is somehow responsible for something that he's very clearly not responsible for at all. They do the same thing with violent protests and riots. President Trump has offered, offered tons of support to these cities. It's been rejected, refused. He's only sent people in, in the case of Portland and a couple other cities, when federal property was, was you know, there were attempts to seize federal property or destroy federal property, and they were just protecting it. So this is on the cities. This is on the states. Just as COVID has been, it's not, it's not President Trump's fault that COVID came, but Joe Biden keeps blaming it. We'll talk about that later. Chris Wallace shredded one of his people there. And, and Chris Wallace does not like President Trump, by the way, if you didn't know that. So I hate seeing this. I hate seeing the blatant lies. Say that you don't like President Trump, Joe Biden. That's fine. Say that you don't like President Trump, individuals out there in, in the country. That's fine, too. You don't have to. But trying to trick people into voting for you because you know you're an awful candidate by just throwing these lies out at President Trump about President Trump. It's just so it's just such a Mammoth Nation is the discount club for conservatives. You get great discounts on name brand products and services, and the proceeds help candidates who support the right causes. Plus, the money you save from just one purchase can pay for your entire membership. Liberal Democrats are destroying America, and we can't let Joe Biden be president. It's time to join the fight. Strength in numbers. We give the silent majority a resounding voice. Go to mammothnation.com and let's win this fight together.